Hi, this is Cindy with Cindy's Cropping Corner, and I'm here to show you group five of the Charm Swap for September. And I'm waiting on a few more for the other three groups, and um, hopefully they'll get here before the weekend. And unfortunately, um, since it is a couple weeks late now, I hate to hold it up. I'm going to um, send them out on Monday um, if I don't receive them. So um, hopefully everything will go out by then. Um, so I, these charms are just beautiful. Um, the first one is by Connie, and here's her information. And Connie's is, um, she did this really pretty tag. And what's neat is it's, re, you know, you can use it on another project. And her charm um, is so pretty. It's got this butterfly um, and the findings here with the Tim Holtz swivel clasp and a key. And I like how she uh, mixed the different metals. I like that, um, that look. It's really pretty. Uh, the next one is from Yur, and here's her information. And she included a couple of extra charms for everyone, too. But um, look at her um, beads here. I love those cracked beads. And this one's in red. So all of these are in red. I just love how she used these different um, beads here in this binding. Just gorgeous. The next one's from Janet. And Nana JL54. And here's her information. And she did a video on hers. Um, she made this really pretty tag with a frame in the center. It's all glimmery. And she used the charms that you can get in the mosaic section at Michael's and drilled a hole in there and added a bird and a bead and um, one of these types of clasps. So it's really pretty. Um, this one was mine, and I don't have the, the tag I made with it. Because this um, this one this one I'm keeping I filled in for somebody on this this section so um, there's mine I have a little a bead up here a couple of beads here and the Eiffel Tower um, this one's from Lydia Little Lids one and here's her information and uh, she made this really pretty charm here with purple and gray and a crown at the bottom. I love those colors. I hadn't seen many purples come over. And she used the fishing lure um, swivel clasp. And this next one is from Lydia Sanchez, and here's her information. And um, she made this pretty tag here with a glimmer mist and ink, put little postcard and keys. And her um, charm is really pretty. It's big. Um, I think those are angels. really pretty and she I believe she did a video too so you have to watch that and then this one is from Lila and she um, made this really pretty flower here with these black and pink um, beads and she used uh, this type of clasp really pretty I love the pink and black together too and then this last one is from Betty, and here's her information. And she um, made the um, tag here really cute with different um, stamps images on the pattern paper. I like how that turned out. And then um, she made this butterfly and this really pretty bead here. And she does a lot of clay work, so I'm not sure if that's a clay finding that she's made. And then some beads. So this is really pretty tag too. Um, I also wanted to show you the, my Christmas cards for this year. And I'm going to be making about 60 of these. I'm crazy. When I my friends saw me making these, they said, you're going to cut all those things out. And I do while I'm watching TV with my husband. <laughs> so it's what I did. Um, I had these pretty long cards, about 9 inches long. And I had found them at an estate sale and I had about 70 of them so I thought I would make my Christmas cards out of them because it's really pretty red. Um, I used the Webster's Pages um, ribbon at the top and then a pleated gold ribbon and then um, this is the Tim Holtz stamp and it's got the Santa and um, the music sheet and this um, Hollies and I painted them with the Lindy Stamp Gang inks um, I painted all of these. They so used the red stickles, 
and then I used the um, what is this stuff flocking powder on the beard and some chalk um, and then I used some ink on the um, Tim Holtz stamp here and I just uh, stamp them and cut them out it's pretty easy and um, put some glimmer mist all over everything so that's my Christmas card for this year it doesn't open it's just a one page you know I'm gonna sign it back here and I use the limited edition and sign my name so that's my Christmas cards I have a lot more to make I was donating 10 of them to our church for the women's retreat so I had to make 10 of them for this weekend and I have some thank yous from hosting the charm swap um, such nice such nice things like I just love all these things that you guys do um, for me and you really don't have to but I so much appreciate it because a lot of these things I, I don't have so I love it um, this is from Lydia and she sent me this pretty card and she sent these um, spider um, this is a, a patch really cute spider and a spider web happy Halloween and these boo um, crystals and some more spider web crystals and some prima bling never can have enough of that um, this will go well in that album I'm making because um, there's going to be a lot of pink in it with the Webster's pages so thank you so much Lydia and Betty sent me a bunch of stuff she is uber talented I cannot believe all the things that she makes um, you have to check her, check her out it's Betty's cutie stuff she makes clay um, figurines as well and I'm gonna be starting a um, office job and um, on Monday and so I'll be um, I want to decorate my desk a little bit so I'm gonna bring these cute little guys and put them on my desk look at that have you seen anything as cute as this so cute the pumpkin and the ghost it's just so cute so um, detailed and just perfection it's just awesome and look at this this little caterpillar and the painting and all of the um, black you know the black paint in here the detail it's just unbelievable um, little paper fan he's holding and his little glasses and scissors and then on here it's like a book it's just gorgeous 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 I it's just unbelievable I love them um, so I'm gonna set those right on my desk so I can look at them and then she um, made these molds and I'll just pull one out here but look at that just neat. it's so neat and then um, it's colored it's just such a neat brass color and there's the little faces it's just it's just so cool I couldn't even imagine doing doing something like this with the clay I've seen people do it I just I can't I can't figure it out <laughs> so um, detailed and this one is a little um, pendant for a necklace that is gorgeous the detail with the black and the lines and the you know makes it look like wood back here or stone it's just gorgeous um, another neat idea she had was to make little scrabble tiles out of the clay and then just you know cook them and then just stamp on the um, stamp them and then write like a one and a two or whatever they're they're worth it's so cute such a great idea and she made these buttons I mean they look like real buttons so much detail in every single little one absolutely gorgeous I love them um, and she also uh, she went way overboard on <laughs> I'm so spoiled um, a bunch of ribbon here that's got it looks like typewriter ribbon and um, just all the letters I mean how clever is that that is so cool it's just stamped on there and then um, cut out each one and spell words such a great idea and she included um, this really cute owl charm look at that these beads are so cute I love it and some more um, charms here and one of them in here is really big this one uh, says memories and a, um, a stamp pad how cute and then just a bunch of um, charms in here 
with dates and things, and I am really far behind in my scrapbook, so I'm going to need those dates, 2004, 2002, because I think that's where I've left off in my family books. Um, and she included some clay for me, so I'm going to give it a try. Roll it out, maybe put some glimmer mist in it. I don't know if that'll work. You'll have to let me know. Um, maybe try and make some Scrabble tiles. Um, then she did some rich shrinky dink and made this uh, witch and a dragonfly. I don't want to break it. Um, look at that. Isn't that cute? And that's big. That's a big stamp. Or she must have, maybe she's drawn it. I bet you she did. Because that, if that's shrunk plastic, look how big it is. That is so cool. And this dragonfly. Very cool with the shrinky dink. And she's included all of these beads for, um, you know, I, a lot of these, like there's flowers in here and little bitty beads. These are going to be great for charm making and for um, the pins. There's some leaves in there that'll look neat under flowers. Just so generous. I, I, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> this is just awesome. Um, I love these too. These are the the circle. Um, these are made out of clay and with letters. So I haven't been able to find the stamp set that has the circle with the letters that everyone's using. And this is handmade ones. This is just awesome. And some little dewdrop beads to look great in flowers. And um, some die cuts and some flowers. Really pretty fall flowers here. And then this was a really clever idea too and she has a, um, you have to check out her flicker at Betty's Cutie Stuff because she um, she has all this all of her different art projects that she works on and this was she had a video on this, or not a video but a um, how to tutorial on how to make these. This is with acetate and fabric um, like a fabric glue and then glitter this is so cool. This just turned out so great. And this is more like on a um, more flimsier one with all that glitter and it just it just sticks. The glitter sticks in here. It's not falling off. I love it. And then this ghost. This will look so cute in a Halloween. Halloween book. Thank you so much. And then she also gave me some of these bags which I use and I love these bags. Um, so I thank you guys so much and um, really, oh, and a butterfly here is really pretty. I really, really appreciate you um, watching. Please leave a comment and um, thanks for watching. Bye.